Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is September, my ideas are running thin, but you know what? This one's kind of cool in my opinion. So as you guys know, I have done a season simulation using the National League that has 13 teams in order to put each league into one season and see how they would all perform. But instead of taking one team from every league today, I'm going to completely randomize the teams that end up in this league. And I'll do it all in one boring take without cuts just so people can't try to say that I did some sort of trickery to get teams that I wanted, which I don't know why I would do that anyway. I feel like it'd be more fun to just be random. I don't have any stake in this, but here we go. I'm going to go ahead, randomize the league. So first off, we get the Women's World Championship. Am I, is that going to be allowed? Can I do that? I guess I'll try it for now. And if not, then I'll come back and grab another team. So let's go ahead, randomize the team. We get Team Sweden. I changed my mind. I'm not doing this all in one take because I get too distracted and I have to take a, a cut in the commentary. So <laughs> otherwise there's going to be just awkward silence. I'm sorry, has to be done, but... You know, it is what it is. Randomize the league number two, we get the NHL, uh-oh. And we are going to land on the Smashville Predators. Next up, we will have the National League, the team that we are going to be using for this simulation. And we get HC Davos. I remember them from NHL 06. They're like the team that just stands out the most to me. I'm hoping we get another NHL team or a team that can at least compete with them. All right, we get that team. I am not even gonna try because I will butcher it horrendously. So far, we have four of our 13 teams let's randomize again we get the ice hockey league and we will land on uh the that team innsbruck so far it's looking like smashville is going to completely dummy never mind they will have a competitor and it will be the washington capitals yeah i'm just wondering if we can throw national teams in if i land on that i don't know guess we're gonna find out though there's only one way to find out and without further ado let's randomize again we get that league hockey all svenskan and the team from this league will be them. We are now over the halfway point, which would be 6.5. Kind of a weird halfway point. But anyway, randomize the league again. We get the OHL and we will land on the Guelph Storm. The next league we are selecting from will be again. Okay, so hopefully we will be able to do this. Otherwise, we're gonna have to come back for two different teams. But we land on Team Finland. I really hope we can actually. I feel like this would be a lot of fun. Four teams remaining. We get the AHL and we will land on the Stockton Heat. Last three I'm just gonna do rapidly here. We get the Spangler Cup. Will we be allowed to do that? I guess so. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that this is just like sort of a compilation of other teams. So we get those guys, Kalpa, and our next league will be the Extra Liga. And from that league, we will get Ridera. And I will go ahead and screenshot that real quick. Our final league is the International League, and we land on Team Finland. Oh no. Play through a season with any of the 13 leagues in the game. Okay, so that doesn't really specify whether or not I can include those other teams as part of a substitution, but it makes me think that I can't, which is very unfortunate. We will turn off trades and just leave it on medium. I don't plan on making any trades. I'll just grab a random team, but let's see if we can do this or not. And it looks like we can- no Oh, wait! Yes, we can! I suppose. Oh, that's lame. We can't use the women's league. On that unfortunate note, we need to randomize two more teams here. So let's go ahead and get her done. We get the DEL and we get the Steelers, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Obviously not actually, but you know, we get them as the substitute for the women's international team number one. And our second will be the SHL and we land on Karlstad. That's just what it says on the logo. I don't know how to... Yeah, I'm not even going to try. What can you use that women's league for then? Is it just play now? Here is the league. Obviously, the NHL teams and the international team have the big advantage. But will Finland win? Or will Nashville slash Washington be able to steal their spotlight? And also, where are all these other teams going to place? I'm going to predict that Guelph finished last. That's just, you know... A relatively easy pick, unfortunately. The OHL and I guess the CHL teams in general are just very low rated. And surprisingly, I'm going to say that Nashville wins the league. I don't know why. I just have a feeling they will. All right, so I'm going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Let's go ahead and jump into this season and find out what happens. We will go to edit lines. Just best lines it for the fun of it. No, don't you think about editing my lines. Head coach preferred. There you have it. I don't know what that character is, but it is very cool looking. I wonder if there's any relation to Justin Braun. I doubt it. 
but maybe. We got Tom and Net. He's gonna hold down the fort. He will mind the net. And we are ready to rock and roll. Let's do this thing. The Guelph Storm, we actually only beat them in overtime. So they got a point out of us and they got another point there. It's always so weird seeing the four columns for the record. I will never get used to it. So far, we're in second last, only above the Storm. So I think I'm going to be right about that prediction. We did lose to them there though. So they could have potentially came back. Ranford, 27 points in 52 games. What a legend. No data to display, you say. That's right. I think I have to go here. Pool A. All right. So we finished with seven Ws on the year. Finland won by a good margin there. 144 points. They went 48 Four and zero, oh, a ninety-two point three point percentage. Nashville went forty-one six and four. Uh, okay, sorry, forty-one six four and one. <laughs> then they had an eighty-four point six point percentage. Washington went thirty-three twelve six and one. The Stockton Heat went. 32, 14, 2, and 4 with 104 points. So the national team, the NHL teams, and the AHL team all broke 100. We're at the bottom here. Guelph did finish last with 29 points. They had four wins on the year. That's not too bad. One of them for sure was against us. Let's check out some individual player stats, shall we? So we got Ranford with 27, and then we got Braun with 26. 24 apiece from, is that Benjamin? It is Benjamin. Okay, I thought I read it wrong for a second. And CJ... Tommy Boy didn't do so great. He had an 891. We got an 896 from Sammy, but you, you know, can't really expect too much from these guys. I guess Ranta and Saros sort of split the duty there because we have Nashville Saros at the top with 33 wins and a 928 save percentage. We got a 924 from Kemper on the Washington Capitals. And then we have the other UC what I see playing for Finland. He had a 929 but only 29 wins because they also had Ranta. Roman Yossi led defenseman 62 points in 52 games. We got 56 from Carlson, 41 from Andy. Where's the Finnish defenders at here? What's going on? Really? Miro was the first one here and Chaika actually did better. I mean, he was a dash 36 and then Miro was a plus 54, but we don't look at that. Ovi led the league and it looks like he'll get the equivalent of the Rocket Richard, which actually I don't think there was trophies for the SH, or this isn't the SHL, sorry, the National League. So I don't believe we'll get to see any of those. But either way, 78 points. Rantanen got 75. Line got 72. Barkov, 71. Sebastian got 65. They absolutely dominated here. Team Finland took it away for the individual player stats. Yeah, it shows awards here. And it shows it as locked. But I think it shows that no matter what. And even after the season, it's still locked. I'm trying to remember though, because I know we did some sort of simulation where I didn't expect there to be trophies and there was, but I don't think this was the one. Team Finland won the season, but who will win the playoffs? Will they win both or will Nashville slash Washington be able to take it? Okay, uh, that scared me for a second. I didn't think it was Finland. I thought it was neither of the NHL teams or the AHL team or Team Finland. And I was trying to figure out who the heck won. Yep, still no trophies, unfortunately, but we could look at the player stats. So Rantanen and Barkov both put up 21. Ovi had 20. And we got 19 from Teravine and Carlson, 17. Kuzi, 16. Clearly, it was the Washington Capitals that made it to the finals against Team Finland. Saros had a 906 and a 214. The other Saros had a 901, 230. Kemper with a 901, 276. Dennis Hildeby went 5'5 five, five, and 1 with a 904, 328. So you know what? He didn't do that bad. This guy kind of went off. He got a 940. Let's go, Eero. Here's the playoff tree. Nashville and Washington went to seven games and Finland just made light work of the entire thing. Okay, so noted. That was pretty fun though. I had a good time with that and I feel like I could do that again and just get completely random teams once more. Or if you guys have an idea for a way to not choose teams, but sort of a method to the madness, a method to the randomness, then that would be cool too. We could start doing videos with stipulations on that. But NHL 23 is now sort of just around the corner. It's not too far away. So we won't be doing too much more NHL 22 videos, but if you do have ideas, go ahead, let me know. I've heard that the NHL 23 franchise mode is much more customizable, which is amazing. It's pretty much perfectly suited for my kind of video because I always do the most random stuff like this. I already started to come up with some video ideas for the newest NHL, obviously. And yeah, start brainstorming for that. But we still need to get some NHL 22 content out before NHL 23 does arrive. 
I don't know much about NHL 23. I have not seen anything other than the gameplay trailer because to be honest, just can't be bothered. I'd rather just get the game and play it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy that one. Finland ran away with it, but I thought that maybe Nashville or Washington would stand a chance. Turns out they did not. They got dummied, rinsed in the finals there 4-1, rinsed in the season, and that will do it. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you soon.